And yes, you've guessed it. This is another book review for the Sailor Moon manga storyline. We are talking about book volume 8 right now. And on the cover, for those of you who do not know, this is Sailor Neptune, a.k.a. Michelle. And... Um, if you can't tell, this she's holding the Neptune mirror. This is the back. The artwork for volume eight. And I, yes, that is Neo Queen Serenity in the future. It's hard for me to tell. Here's all the Sailor Scouts, Inner Sailor Scouts, and the Outer Sailor Scouts. This finishes off the Heart Snatchers story, and it goes into the Dreamcatcher stories where they talk about Pegasus. The Flying Horse with the Golden, cor uh, golden Crystal uh, Corn on his forehead. But yes... More of the artwork. And there's Sailor Moon. And she's fighting Pharaoh 90. Or Mistress 9, I think. I can't remember. But yeah, and this book has not has four of the individual comics in it in this storyline for or this installment it only has four and that's the Mugan school Sailor Pluto But, um, and, uh, in this part of the story, Sailor Mini Moon and Sailor Moon, they still fight, but when it comes to, you know, fighting the evil, they, they shut up on their fighting and concentrate on fighting together. So... And the Sailor Mini Moon, Sailor Mini Moon gets her little bell to, to summon Pegasus um, and stuff. <clears throat> and of course, I don't know why, but in the series, it takes them forever to figure it, that out. That Sailor Mini Moon is the holder of Pegasus. What idiot. Oh, gee. Uh, she summons Pegasus in the series and it takes them that long to figure it out. So, um, but yes... Queen Nehalania is talked about in this book. Again, I think they did a better adaptation of the series in, in the mangas because they didn't change anything really. But there you go. That is the book eight Sailor Moon manga review.